Hi everyone, Greg here. Now today we have come to Burger Urge. Now Burger Urge is a Queensland based burger company. They've got about 23 to 25 stores around Queensland. And today we've come to try a burger and it's called the Big Pack. Now what's a Big Pack? Well, it's a hamburger copied off the Big Mac but it's made using alpaca meat. I've been tossing up whether or not to make this burger because the last thing I really want to try is alpaca meat, but I know you would want me to do it for you. So today's the day. We're gonna get one, see what it looks like, see what it tastes like, and give it a review and give it a score out of 10. Well, I've already ordered it. I'll be bringing it out nice and fresh very soon. Well, here we go. Here's the big pack or the <laughs> alpaca burger. So, oh, the flies are liking it. Go away. So, this burger here costs $16. So, it's not a cheap one, but hey, it's loaded full of alpaca. So, not something that you usually find in a supermarket, at least anyway. So, this is based on the Big Mac. So, it has two all pack <laughs> patties. Lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. So hopefully it's got some Big Mac sort of sauce as well. But let's uh, take a closer look. So we'll take the stick out, which is holding it together. And oh wow, look at that. We got some onions there. We got the alpaca meat. Uh, oh nice, lots of pickles there with some lettuce and there is some sauce. Some more onions, more alpaca. Some cheese, <laughs> lettuce, and some more sauce. Let's just try what their sauce tastes like first. I know people really love it when I stick my fingers in my food. <laughs> A tartary, sort of mayonnaise-ish, Big Mac tasting sauce. So that's what the alpaca meat looks like. It, it looks like just normal everyday meat, doesn't it? I'm really keen to see though how gamey it is or what sort of flavour it resembles. So this is what an alpaca looks like. I mean, uh, this is really tough, you know. It's, uh, I mean, Bernice, what's your favourite animal? The alpaca. Bernice's favourite animal is the alpaca. So, I mean, literally this is doing both of our heads in. I don't know if Bernice is going to be having any, but we got to try it. Oh, it smells all right. Okay, but just do what, Greg. The meat on its own, I mean, it's got quite a bit of fat in it. I'm, I'm coming across lots of chewy bits of fat, but the meat on its own tastes, um, quite nice. I mean it's, I can taste like a grassy sort of fed sort of flavour in it. I was trying to see if it was going to resemble lamb or something but I can't even taste any resemblance to sort of any other meat really. It was a little bit chewier. You could taste like the grass fedness of it. That makes sense. It's too late now. I can't come back. I've already eaten our pack. I'm sorry Bernice. But let's try this big pack burger. And it is a big burger too. I mean, it weighs a ton. Those bits of meat in there are huge. Let's go. Ah. Oh. 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 Mm. Kind of tastes like a Big Mac too. The sauce on there is very similar. I got the taste of the pickles in there that really boosted those flavours. It's only got one piece of cheese though, but that's sort of all it needed. The onions give a nice little crunch in there as well. And the sauce really does complement the meat. It's a little bit messy, but hey, what do you expect? Oh, oh. If you didn't know it was alpaca, you wouldn't even notice. 
just tastes like a pretty tasty burger to me. Wow. And this thing is huge as well. I mean, they probably could have made it a, a small one. <laughs> or just a single layer or something for those people who aren't too sure about eating alpaca, but... Mate, to be quite honest, it's just a nice tasting burger. Uh, you can't tell that it's alpaca. The meat just tastes like a normal meat burger. And, yeah, tastes pretty good. It's almost too big though, and it's very messy to eat. They do have knives here, so I could have cut it in half if I wanted to. I think I might do that actually. Alpaca meat is growing in popularity here in Australia. A lot of people think it tastes like a bit of aged mutton. Uh, it is very mild in flavour, but some of the benefits of it is that it has half the saturated fats than beef, one third the cholesterol, and calories wise, it's got the lowest calories of all the land based animals that we tend to eat. Only 150 calories per 100 grams of meat. Anyway, I think I've had enough of this alpaca burger now to know what score I'm going to give it out of 10. Well, this was $16, so well, what do you compare that to? I don't know. Uh, it was pretty expensive. The meat for me, it was, it had lots of like, little bits of chewy fat in there, which was sort of a bit unpleasant, especially when you're trying a new meat for the first time. The burger itself was pretty nice. It actually did taste quite like a Big Mac, I thought but it was missing that beefiness, that extra flavor. The alpaca meat is quite, well, it is quite mild. And I just think uh, if it had had uh, some real beef on there, it would have tasted a whole lot better. But it, all over, it was still a pretty good burger. So for an all over value, all over flavor, all over taste, all over everything, burger urge for this alpaca burger, I'm giving you a 5.9 out of 10. I mean, really, the burger isn't too bad, but the burger mince was full of little bits of fat, and I think if you're gonna be trying a meat for the first time, you don't wanna experience that sort of stuff. The beef would've been heaps better in this burger. It was a little bit expensive as well. And I think just psychologically, it's something that uh, I'm sort of struggling to eat, and, um, I sort of don't even want to finish the rest of this, even though it does taste all right. Uh, it, it was just doing it for the experience, basically, and well, I've done it now, and I might find some birds in the local park and see if they want to finish this off. <laughs> now, would I eat alpaca again? Well, you know what, I probably wouldn't. I mean, it it's just hasn't got that oomph and that, like, flavor that beef tends to give you. Maybe if it was in some pasta sauce or something, but on a hamburger, mate, you just cannot be beef. Anyway, that's today's review. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time for my next review. Catch you then. Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen, where the reviews are